Prairob is an ancient temple that was constructed in 961 AD. It is about 13 kilometers away from the provincial town of Simriap and is considered to be the grandest brick architecture in Angkor history. Based on an inscription number K806, Prairob was built during the era of King Rajendra Varman as a means to express his gratitude toward Hinduism. Moreover, some of the most important and sacred statues, like Shiva Lingam, were installed at the central tower of the temple to honor Hinduism and King Rajendra Varman ancestors. The central tower is called Rit Temple or Mountain Temple, which was constructed on higher elevations. Moreover, limestone and sandstones were incorporated into creating the walls, pillar, colonnade, blind doors, and lintel. The infrastructural design of this particular temple clearly demonstrates a sophisticated and technical work of art. If one enters from the eastern Gopura, there are five mighty towers all lined up along the entrance. From the southern side, there are three towers, whereas the northern side has two more towers. All of the five towers are constructed entirely from brick, with wide open doors facing the eastern direction. Unfortunately, most of the towers were incomplete in terms of construction. The door frames, elevation steps, and lintel of the Prairub temple were left undone. Nevertheless, and thankfully, some of the sculptures on all of the five towers are still comprehensible to the eyes of experts. Furthermore, the storytelling images on each tower are sensational as well. The first tower from the south depicts a story of a human-like Singha, a mythically-looking lion. The second tower illustrates a story of Indra sitting on a three-headed elephant. The third tower contains a story of Rama sitting over Hanuman or the Monkey King. The fourth tower tells the story of Narayana sitting on a Garuda, an eagle-like mythical figure. Finally, the far northern tower has sculptures of Hayagriff, a horse-faced avatar in Hinduism. If we look onto the courtyard below, nearly all of the first and second fortress walls were entirely made of laterite stones. Moreover, experts suggested that the building possibly could have tiled or brick roofs like other regular buildings, although experts could not yet provide the answer to the role of the building. Surprisingly, experts found a lengthy and rectangular stone next to the eastern staircase as well. Because of the stone, varieties of interpretations occurs from both experts and locals. Experts believe that it could be an ancient pool, while other scholars think it is just a platform to support sacred animal statues. In contrast, the locals think that the lengthy rectangular stone is a platform to support the dead in funeral ceremonies considering the tower at the northeast corner which has a stone pot and drainage for purification. Due to these interpretations, it led to a conclusion that Prairup Temple could possibly be related to cremation of the dead or related with the word Viswarupa as this word can be found on some of the inscriptions. On the other hand, if we think about the royalties or highest monk cremation in Buddhism, could their ceremony have somehow taken place within the area of the temple or pagoda? Nonetheless, in front of the Prairup temple, there are two additional temples that face the main temple. Normally, the building that stands in front of the main temple is known to be a library. Although these buildings were unidentified, the people unofficially referred to them simply as libraries, whereas others suggested that the temple could be also used as a tomb. Nevertheless, if we look from afar, we might think that all of the towers were built on the same height. Actually, they were instead built on different elevations. For instance, the 12 smaller towers stood on the first floor, 
and all of their doors faced east, whereas the four larger towers stood on the third elevation, while the central tower was placed on the highest elevation. Unfortunately, due to erosion, the motor on most of the towers faded, while many simply remained with sandstone carvings. Among the five towers at the top, the southwestern tower still has some remaining motor which was used to decorate the external wall. Luckily, these motors are still in a good condition, which enables the art details to be visible. And again, some sculptures on the wall of the northeastern tower can be identified as well. For example, the four hand statues on the northeastern wall is identified to be Pramani, considered as Shakti or power of Brahma. The false door located on the southwestern wall is also embedded with Varahi, which is an avatar of Narayana who took the form of a wild boar. To add on, the remaining towers do not possess any crucial form of vast relief. Finally, after a long day of visitation, the presence of the sunset reflecting its beauty over the temple will leave you in awe. Just a few minutes before the sun slips below the earth horizon, the remaining golden light will shine over the temple, seemingly as if the sun is transforming the entire temple into gold. Photographers could capture this mesmerizing moment as the day is about to end. And during the rainy monsoon season, the leftover rainwater outside the fortress will create another beautiful mirror reflection of the Prairu temple that one must wait to see. <laughs>